lovelies and welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So in today's video we are going to be reviewing the Gershon Polygel Kit. It's the nude one. I think I've, well I know I've reviewed this before but Gershon were kind enough to send me this over again and try again so that's what we are doing. I do really enjoy Gershon's products because they are very high quality and um, you get a lot for what you pay for as well. It's a nice big kit. The only thing you don't get in this kit is slip solution. I do love the packaging. It's very simple. The like tie dye dripping like paint is really, really nice. Uh, so in this kit, you do get a thank you card, a little instruction booklet. Um, you can of course pause and read through if you wish to, uh, but there's all the instructions. It's pretty simple and straightforward. They've really narrowed it down to pinpoint and straightforward you know uh, there's a 100 to 180 grit file um the smoother side is actually the one with the writing on I yeah I don't think I've ever said that before <laughs> um your spear javelin tool which is your brush picker and spatula tool I don't know what it is about Gershwin brushes but they their lids seem to be really like on like when you put them on they don't like slide around and fall off they're really good so this kit does also come with paper forms and jewel forms i won't be using e either of these today but they do come in the um in the kit which is great a base and a top coat and then your six poly gels they are 30 milliliters each or uh grams and they all come sealed which is great always love when things come sealed because you know they haven't been used so it does come with a clear there's also some like instructions on the back there uh but i didn't swatch the clear but i do use the clear in this one uh this video it also comes with a really a bright white a natural pink i think this is the one i use in the video today a dark pink a cover pink and i think the last one is bean red so there is a nice variety of different colors um for different skin tones which is always a plus um I like it when they give you a variety of different shades for different skin because it shows that they're thinking of everyone and not just one specific, um, oh gosh, one spe specific, I can't even speak today, uh, customer. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so this is before they are cured and then this is after they are cured. And these are the two that I'm using today. I'm going to use the clear and the natural pink. And I'm also going to use these glitters that I bought in a little... Well, it went little. There was 20 pots of glitter on Amazon. I will link everything down below. And I just kind of wanted to just do a full glitter, like, set different coloured glitters on each nail. Like an ombre into pink nude sort of nail. Um... I am using, I am doing the lazy girl method again because I, like I said uh, at the beginning of the week, I'm going to try and get extra videos out this week. So the lazy girl method is actually uh, great for me to be able to um, get all my videos out quicker for you guys. But you can do the natural, the normal method as well. And you can do this method with jewel forms uh, from the kit. Uh, so yeah. But anyway, I'm just showing you how I prep my natural nail. I don't prep them properly because I obviously use a peel off base coat, but you would skip the peel off base coat if you want your nails to last. The laser girl method does last. It lasts two to three weeks, sometimes four, depending on how quick your growth is. So I use my cuticle pusher to push back the cuticle and scrape away any of the dust and dead skin. And then I use the 180 grit side of the file to file away the shine from the natural nail. You do that to all of your nails. Then you go in with a dehydrator and a primer. And then you go in with base coat and cure for 60 seconds. Make sure you read the instructions though because obviously uh, they might the, the curing time might change depending on the wattage lamp you have. If it's LED, UV, yeah. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do is I'm using my stiletto tips because I've actually run out of my sizes for the coffin tips. I do lazy girl method that much. <laughs> um, so... Uh, but I'm, I'm happy I made these stiletto because they are nice. They're really nice how they turn out. So I just painted some base coat into the nail here. And before curing, I'm now going to press in using a gel brush with a bit of base coat on the end. Uh, I'm just going to put some glitter all over the place and I kind of make it like ombre down in t when it comes closer to the nail bed area. And I do this for all of the nails. I show you all of this first and then I do the poly gel second so we're not like going back and forth. So yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch me put all the glitter into each nail and I'll be back when we start to do some of the poly gel. So I hope you enjoy. 
back guys hello so now what i'm going to do is just put in some pink there's the natural pink into the nail bed area and using my brush and my and my slip solution i'm going to press and pull it into place this is the same way as a jewel jewel form method the only difference is of course you um don't take the nail form the nail off of the finished nail you leave it on because it it adds to the nail itself that's why it's called the lace girl method um so i'm just ombre the pink down to the free edge and then i just put a bit of clear and i um basically encapsulate the glitter um you don't have to be precise with the uh sorry my kids are in the background if you can hear them <laughs> um so you don't have to be really precise with the ombre because the glitter does hide the ombre um but yeah it's uh it's a really this this method i love it because it's so quick and it makes your nails look so flawless and i know i do a lot but i am going to start doing the original poly gel method soon it's just it's christmas week and it's busy but i wanted to make sure i got a couple of videos out to you guys because it is christmas week um so i wanted to do a few extra so this was of course the alternative of doing the yeah doing the laser girl method so um yeah once i'd finished patting and pulling the poly gel into place i then press onto my nail and cure my nail lamp for 30 seconds just to make sure it's holding on on my nail i do this for each nail and then i cure at the end for a full 60 seconds um i love gershon po uh, poly gel it's definitely um one of my favorites i've always said that it's got um their their poly gel is not too it's more firm than it is soft but it's not like super firm it's not as firm as mccart um it's a really nice poly to work with their clear is crystal clear to me um i think they've got a new formula as well because it seems like the, the clear poly gel seems more clear and more thicker i hope that makes sense um but yeah i'd highly recommend this i'm also going to link the uh poly gel kit down below in the description box um <clears throat> But this is a very nice, like, sort of Christmassy, but not completely Christmassy. The blue, this one here, and the light baby pink 
um, nails were definitely my favourite. I loved those glitters. I've been wanting to use these glitters for ages and this just gave me the perfect opportunity because I was like, oh, I can do like an ombre uh, nail set. Um, so yeah. Um, but other than that, I'm yeah, this kit is great. It's uh, definitely affordable on Amazon. Uh, I think it's something like 35 or £36 pound, um, on Amazon right now. It used to be more expensive, but the price has gone down, which is great for Christmas. Um, and of course, Christmas is tomorrow. So I am going to say, just in case I don't upload tomorrow, because it's going to be a busy day. I'm hoping I can pre-record today tonight now and get a video out for you guys uh, by just scheduling it ready to go. Um, but I hope everyone does have a good Christmas, whether I, I do upload tomorrow or not. I will upload on Saturday. <laughs> um yeah i just i want everyone to have a good christmas and i know it's been a horrible year uh but some good things have come from it like my nail journey on youtube's come from christmas this year you know from this christmas this year my nail journey and being monetized on youtube that all happened this year so it's not that it's not been that bad a year it's just what has happened you know with the world and i can't wait for it to end and i hope it does end soon um but yeah i hope everyone has a good christmas and i hope everyone gets what they wanted off of santa and if you don't celebrate christmas i hope you have a fabulous day anyway tomorrow well for the rest of the weekend and the rest of the 2020 um and yeah i just i want to say a big thank you to all of you guys because you guys are absolutely amazing and you've supported me through and through and i do recognize all of the uh og people and i do recognize like i do start to remember all of the new people's names so don't ever think that i don't recognize your name or remember you i always recognize you and i always see you guys in my comments and i always try to reply and we've grown so much this year and it's absolutely amazing so yeah a big thank you to you guys you guys are absolutely phenomenal and i couldn't ask for better subscribers um <clears throat> yeah sorry a bit of soppiness i'll probably do another soppiness near to new year's <laughs> but yeah this is uh the end result basically well close to it we're going to top coat and then i use the mccart rhinestone gel glue stuff to um uh, to cure on a nice little um rhinestone sort of dangly charm gem thing onto my middle finger um and then i put some cuticle oil on and that is pretty much the end of the result guys it's really nice and pretty and christmasy to me but also like you could wear this besides christmas time i think um the uh the rhinestone gel, by the way, um, from a car, I do have a 15% off code and an affiliate link is down below in the description box. You can click on that and I get a little bit of commission. And if you use my code, I get a little bit of commission as well. It helps me out. You don't have to use it. Um, but the 15% off code will save you some money as well. And the great thing about this glue is everything stays where it's meant to. And you don't have to top coat this glue. It's this it's a gel it is but um you don't have to top coat it because there's no sticky layer so that's even better you can literally top coat put this on and go um i do have a bit of a fiddle with this gem now but here it is it's really really pretty and i was like oh i gotta use it um but yeah other than that guys i am going to oh oh my voice on then i am going to leave it here and i'm going to pop off um because we're nearly at the end <laughs> uh but anyway i hope everyone enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and i hope you have a fabulous day tomorrow don't forget to keep on smiling and don't forget to stay safe and i will see you all in my next one bye guys